Well, hello and welcome everyone to this very small tutorial on how to undervolt your GPU and also after that a small OC guide. If you already know everything about how to undervolt your GPU and OCing your cards via MSI Afterburner or in general this video is probably not for you. Of course feel free to stay anyways. But for everyone else um, I hope this may help you achieving those things and so let's get going. As you can see I'm running Cyberpunk in the background and I've loaded up all the graphs. On the right I have a sensor running, it's GPU Z, you can, it's completely free, you can download it. Test power up. On the left I have the FPS counter, so we have all the data we need. On the if you look at the right side on the censoring, you see the at the very top you see the board power draw. How much power the, the graphics card uses at the moment? Over 400 watts. And at the very bottom we see ourselves the voltage that the card is currently using. This is the out of the box settings for my card. It's an RTX 3090 Supreme X by MSI. Uh, also, before we apply undervolting or OC guides and settings, keep in mind every GPU and every chip is different, so you will never get the same numbers as somebody else. Um, it doesn't matter if you have the same graphics card. So I will now apply the undervolt profile I created before. And as you may have realized, something has changed quite drastically. The board power draw is now way lower. And also the voltage at the very bottom is now fixed. It was at 1.02 and now it's at 1.0875. And also the temperature has decreased. I now can also apply a manual fan curve. I've treated beforehand like nothing special, nothing well optimized, but it will get the job done for this small tutorial. This will obviously decrease the temperature even further. The card will then get a bit louder, but in my case I don't care. I've always played with headphones and the card is not very loud in general. My case fans are way louder than the card will ever be. Um, how we achieve our, uh, undervolting? When you have the settings up, you just hit Ctrl plus F and then this brings up this nice little window with our current undervolt settings that is applied at the moment. Let's go to default settings out of the box. That's how they look for my card in this case. How we do undervolting now is we press Alt and keep pressing Alt key on your keyboard and then pick with your mouse any spot, it doesn't really matter, and then just press and drag it down a bit while holding the Alt key. You want to go down, obviously don't go up and be moderate, don't go all the way to the bottom, that doesn't make any sense because we want to achieve a high clock speed as well. After that uh, you can let go of your Alt key and then just choose any spot, at the bottom is the vault, on the left side is the clock speed. I'm trying to do now the same as beforehand, to about 0.875 volts, this is the spot. Then I just click with my left mouse button and just slide it upwards a bit. So I get to my desired clock speeds that you can see on the left side. And this is what I clicked and activated now and as you can see it's at 1815. It will always run at 1815 megahertz now because that's what I selected before. On the bottom you can see on the voltage it will always be the same what we picked beforehand. You can also obviously tweak this now as a whole just with the Alt key again that moves the graph entirely. Press and keep holding the Alt key and then just drag it with your mouse upwards or downwards to get a higher or lower frequency clock. And you basically do this in moderate steps. You can go start very small steps and then move your way to the left and upwards because left means lower lower frequency uh, voltage I mean 
and upwards means higher clock speeds. Obviously what we want to do is get the lowest possible voltage at the highest clock speed and the cards still have to run stable in the best case for many many hours or even for I don't know days. We can apply again a fan curve just feel free to experiment with that. Um, it's really self-explanatory and then um, just pick a profile again, save it. You can also tick some boxes for that it starts always with windows and minimized so you don't have to do the whole thing again. And that's basically it when it comes to undervolting. I think I covered everything that's that you guys need to know when we come to OC now. We don't need the, the, the graph on the left side anymore, so just be in the settings. Again, in this case, I have created a uh, profile beforehand, saved it on slot two, and this are the, these are the settings that you can now see that I choose. These are my settings. I've tested them for several hours while running this game, and they are completely stable in my case. You can see all the sliders, and this is the, these again are my settings. What we want to do with overclocking is basically we don't care about voltage using, we don't care about how much watts we use, we just look for raw performance. So what we will always do is increase the power limit of the GPU. That's what I did. And so then the card has access to more watts, to more power. And that will usually make the card be able to achieve higher clocks. Then we can play around with the clock speeds. Obviously we want to go up positive and uh, I recommend you doing that in, uh, in steps about 10 or 20 megahertz. Don't go crazy and go 400 because I'm 100% certain this will result in a crash of the game and uh, of the driver and the cart. So be moderate, try 10 steps, 20, try 100 and you really have to test it for many minutes not and maybe even hours to really sh be sure that the card is stable at this settings. When it freezes right away, you will know it's just not stable. So you have to start all over again. You have to find your own sweet spot on how to do settings. Usually I don't use memory clocks very high because they usually just draw unnecessary power and really don't increase FPS that much. In my case it really doesn't matter anyways because I only have a 60 Hz monitor and as you can see I'm also playing with FreeSync and VSync so I'm locked at 60 FPS anyway. Um, I'm playing on 4K, uh, my, just my monitor cannot handle more than 60 Hz and I don't really need it. I'm really happy if it runs at 60. So in my case, I don't really use overclock that much, but obviously people always, uh, most of the time have 120 Hertz monitors, 144 uh, Hertz monitors. And that if they want to have this extra FPS, then uh, this is the way to go. You can also achieve the same with undervolting, but mm, Probably not. It's it's just to get a, a more stable and a more effective way of playing. So these are both ways on how to treat your cards. In my case, I always use undervolting. I barely use uh, OC, but it's the way to go. I hope I could help you. And again, feel free to let me know in the comments. Until then, stay safe and. Enjoy playing. Bye-bye.